We're going to uh, hear now from two top Democrats, New York Senator Chuck Schumer and former Vermont Governor Howard Dean. Governor Dean, let me uh, just start with you and get your reaction uh, to what you've just heard. Well, I mean, uh, frankly, Michelle Bachman has never had much command of the facts, and that shows us exactly why. Uh, the fact of the matter is that Barack Obama has created jobs, four million of them since he became president. The economy is in much better shape than it was when he took office. Um, that women are terrified of what the Republicans are talking about. They're talking about basically uh, stripping away their uh, ability to have insurance pay for their birth control pills. Latinos are terrified of the Republicans because they seem to have a total tin ear uh, when it comes to the basic needs of treating people with dignity. And uh, the average of American thinks that Rip not, Mitt Romney doesn't care about them. Here's a guy who's building, during a campaign, a mansion in Malibu with an elevator for his car. He had a Swiss bank account and he invested in the Cayman Islands. I don't think we've ever elected a president that invested in the Cayman Islands as a tax dodge before. This candidacy is a shipwreck. And for Michelle Bachman to go on there and claim that women are going to vote for Mitt Romney is perfectly ridiculous. All right, strong letter to follow, as they say. <laughs> yes, <that's laughs> Senator Schumer, uh, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, do you think that the president has made it clear to Americans uh, what he wants to accomplish in a second term? You know, we started this year with more than half, more than half the people in the CBS News New York Times poll saying they did not have a clear idea what President Obama hopes to accomplish in a second term. Uh, that kind of sounds like it could mean trouble. Well, the president For is you. focused. The president's focused on the middle class and economy and jobs and people have already seen it he fought hard for a payroll tax cut got a thousand dollar benefit to middle class families he's right now fighting to see that tuition uh, does not the interest rates that they charge for tuition does not go up making it easier for the middle class uh, to go to college he's fought hard for an infrastructure bill but we have huge numbers of unemployed people and in the future he's talking about investments to help our future in things like education, in uh, infrastructure, in scientific research, which help create the jobs that make the middle class feel secure about the future. Let me and just say, uh, just interrupt you, I, I, I take your point here, but I'm not sure, do you think that he has gotten that message out there, that people uh, really understand that? I mean, I, well, I think it's fair to say he's sort of taken a back seat because he wanted to let the Republicans yeah. go at one another for a time, but Look, it also seems to me that he has some work to do on, on getting out what well, he's for. Yeah, the campaign is just being joined right now. And let me just say that uh, uh, as people learn the records, they're going to see a huge difference. Mitt Romney has sort of been given a pass. It's sort of been a dialogue on the Republican right uh, it was called a monologue by Obama's campaign manager. As people start contrasting the kinds of things the president is for that I mentioned before, and then what Mitt Romney wants to do with the economy, uh, he wants to give further tax breaks to the wealthiest among us. That's trickle down. He wants to further deregulate many industries. That's what got us in this trouble to begin with in many ways. Uh, they're going to see that he wants to go back to the policies of George Bush. And I think uh, this chart will say it all in the campaign, and you'll see a lot of it. Uh, the red shows uh, job loss under the Bush policies. That's what Romney wants to return to. The blue shows the steady hand the president has had on the tiller, reducing job loss and then 25 months of job gain, 4 million new jobs right. gained, manufacturing jobs gained, ex exports up. And so I think when the contrast is joined, as the president began to do in Virginia and Ohio, the economy is going to be a net plus for the president.